Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how to make the mom design with the wordings cut through them. More popularly known as the mom with the names cut through them. But I'm going to go ahead and show you with just a generic mom, I love you. And I'm going to show you how to do two different designs for this project. I'll go through the instructions step by step. So make sure you're following all the way through and not skipping any parts, otherwise it will not turn out correctly. For the fonts that I use in this tutorial, most of them are going to be from Creative Fabrica. I will link the Creative Fabrica in the descriptions for you, along with the individual font links that I use from the Creative Fabrica website. There are so many and there's tons of fonts to use. I specifically love these two, so I'll make sure that the links are in the descriptions for you to go and check out. Now let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and start with the first one with the word cut through the mom. So I'm going to go ahead and just minimize these. That way we can use them for reference, but I will show you from start to finish on how to do those. Now the very first thing we're going to do is go to our left sidebar and press text. You can see it's going to come up with just a text word, literally just the word text, but you double click on it and you can type whatever you want just right there. I'm going to go ahead and type in mom, all capital letters. Don't worry about how that comes up like that. It's just the last font that was used. From here, I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it. And I'm going to have it a little bit off to the side and we'll go over to our upper left corner where it says fonts. And I'm going to go ahead and change this first one to one that I recently used, which is recent. If you just push on the recent tab, it brings up the fonts that you've most recently used. So it's a quick way to get to fonts that you typically use more often. For this one, I'm going to go and click this one here and it'll change the font for you just like that. Okay, so now that I have the font that I want, I'm gonna go over to my right side panel and the layers. You can see that this specific font has three layers. I'm just gonna delete the two that I don't need. So we'll just do that and you have that remaining. What I like about the recent update they did though on Design Space is you can ungroup the letters individually if you need to manipulate anything. So you can see that the M's are a little bit shorter than the O, and I want those to be even. So you'll go ahead and click on your text, go to ungroup in the upper right corner here, and now they're all three movable separately. So I'm gonna put those back, and I'm just gonna change the height of my M's to match the height of my O. So I'll go ahead and copy the height, and paste it into the ends. And then just kind of move them back to where you want them to be. And then I like to go ahead and highlight all of the letters one time, go to align, and then just center vertically. And that will go ahead and just realign everything again. And then you can also highlight again if you want and do distribute horizontally and that'll evenly space them out just like that. Once you have that done, go ahead and select all of the letters, go down to combine and weld. And now it's back to the original format. All right, so now that we have our mom, that is the first step of this design. Now we're going to go back to the text and do a second text again. And this one you can write the names, whatever phrase. Again, I'm just going to do I love you. Once you have your text made, you can go back up to fonts and change it to the font that you want. It looks better when the fonts are mixed. It just has a better effect with it. I'm going to go ahead and do this specific font. This is one that I did get from Creative Fabrica. Again, it will be linked in the descriptions for you. This one is really cute and it does have extra graphics. And I'm going to show you that real quick. 
where it has little hearts that can go in between the words or letters, whichever you want to do. But I'm going to put mine in between the words. In order to do this step, you'll need to locate your character map or your character book. It depends what computer you're on or phone that you're on. In my case, it's going to be the font book. Now, once you get to your fonts map or fonts book, this is what it's going to bring up as all of your fonts and they all have special characters for them. So I'm going to go to the one that we're specifically using right now and open that font. And this is going to bring up each and every different character in that font. I'm specifically looking for one heart though, which you just kind of scroll through until you find it. I think I went too far. And once you find it, you're going to click on that character and you're going to copy. You'll go back over to your design space, go back into your text and delete that space that was there and then paste that character. So just like that. We'll move that back into view. And that's how you do the special characters within your font. Now that we have our inner font, I'm going to go ahead and layer it over top of the mom here and just kind of resize it, play with the size as much as you want, just until you get it to where you want it to be. I like to collect both of them, have them selected, and then do the align button and center. Now that we've gotten this far, there's just a couple more steps for this specific design. In that part, we're going to go ahead and highlight the inner text. And we're going to go up to our upper panel bar to offset. Click on that. And we want to make an offset to be able to cut a border through the mom. So I like to have mine at 0 0.06. It usually comes up and starts at a 0 0.25. But since I already had it over here, it saved what I previously used. But you can change the size just by erasing and adding a different size. Press enter. It'll give you a view and then you apply. I'm going to go ahead and go back to six, enter and apply. And now you can see there's a dark borderline and that's what we want to have highlighted right now. So we're going to go over to our right side panel now. We're going to select that offset. And also we want to have the mom selected at the same time. So to select two in your layers, you'll push one of those and then shift and press the other one. And that'll have them both highlighted for you. From here, we'll go down to the slice button. And remember when using slice, you can only have two items selected. If you have more than two, it won't work. Go ahead and press slice. And now your panel should look like this with slice results. The top three slice results we don't need and you can go ahead and delete those. Now you can see you have your mom and the wording has been cut through the mom. And that's how you do this first variation. And then you can individually change the colors. I'll just change it to pink and black. From here, you can just go ahead and group them together or weld, whichever you prefer to do. All right, so that's the first variation. We'll go ahead and make that smaller again, just kind of push it off to the side, just like that. Now, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and see how we make this variation. So I'm gonna go ahead and resize that back to small and we'll get started on that. Now it's gonna be the first few steps are gonna be the same. So go over to your text, type in mom, find your style of font that you want. All right, so this is the mom font that I've chosen. Again, this is a font from Creative Fabrica. This one's going to have a coordinated font with it. So it's a two font pack that comes in one download. 
This one I just think is really cute because it comes as it looks like a little kid wrote it. So for moms with younger kids, it's just a cute font to have for that reason. Uh, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it again just because I want to be able to turn this M backwards. That way it has more of a symmetrical look. So I'll go up to flip, flip horizontal, and then it'll be backwards. Again, just go through and combine and weld, and now it's a one again. Now for this one where it's a more of a monogram effect, has that complete cut through. This time you'll go over to shapes and you'll go ahead and select the square. So it's going to automatically come up as a two by two. Go to unlock right here, this lock button here. Click that and now it's unlocked. And now you can freely resize the box, which is what we need for this project. Now for this, we're going to go ahead and line it up to where you want it to be. So I think I want to make this a little bit taller. And it's kind of right there. I don't want it to cut anything where it's not going to look like the MOM, but I also want to cut it where it's going to have a clear cut through. So let's make it a little bit longer. And then again, just select, go up to align, and do this center horizontally. If you do complete center, then it'll move your line completely upwards and down. And you don't want that if you have it in a specific spot. So for now, I'm just gonna do horizontally. Once you have your two parts, you'll go ahead and select the rectangle. Go ahead and duplicate this and hover over the original rectangle and then select both rectangles and you will center those that way it's completely equal to each other this part is really important so make sure you do that now go ahead and select the top rectangle and we're just going to make it slightly shorter and then again select both of the rectangles only back up to align center and I think I'm gonna make it a little bit taller both of them you want to keep everything symmetrical keep everything with the rectangles centered and then I think I'll make it a little bit taller so about right there looks really good for me now, once you have all three of those parts in place, this next step is very important to follow through the exact steps to get the right outcome. So the very first thing we're going to do is select both of the rectangles and then go down to slice and we'll bring up those slice results. And this time, you only want to get rid of one of the slice results. It doesn't matter which one, top, second one, just one of them. The slice result that looks like this is the one you want to keep. Don't get rid of that one at all. Now we'll take this solid line rectangle, highlight that one, and then highlight the mom. And back down to slice. And the top three you can get rid of now. Now you can see it has that monogram effect look. Again, you can make these thinner, wider, taller, however you want to do it. But that's how you come up with this result. From here, you'll go ahead and just select both of those parts. Go to combined and weld. And now it's one solid piece. Now from here, we'll just go back over to text. Again, we'll do one more text to put on the inner part. All right, and this is the font that I'm choosing for the inner part. Like I said, this whole font setup is a two in one. So this is the font that comes with this font here. Again, it just looks like a kid wrote it or a younger child, so it kind of works for those moms with the younger child. 
Again, just resize it to where you want it to be. I want it to be shorter. So in this case, I'm gonna go to this unlock right here again, click it, and now it's unlocked. And now I can manipulate the height and the width individually versus adjusting them in even ratio. So I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the height until I like what it looks like. All right, so that looks pretty good there. I am gonna make it a little bit taller because I want a little bit of an overlap, but I like the height and the ratio that it's at. So just like that, you can see there is that a little bit of overlap. And from here, we'll go ahead and do that same thing where we do the offset. I'm gonna change the color here really quick just so we can see what we're doing. So you'll go ahead and make that offset and then slice your offset with the mom and that way it gives again that kind of cut through but this is with the monogram effect okay now you have your offset and you'll select the mom slice and remove the slice results like that and now you have that monogrammed mom look, but with the slice through as well. Again, you don't have to do the slice through with the monogram. You can just have it right in the open space. But I like how this version comes out like this. Again, you can just have it looking like this as well, where it's more centered throughout. Just on whatever your preference is or whatever look you're going for. And from there, just go ahead and change the colors to what you want. If you're printing, then cutting. If you're doing just a cut format, then it doesn't matter what colors they are. All right, there you have it. You have the mom with the words cut through or the more monogrammed look mom with the words cut through the middle. This is how you do both variations for this specific project. Again, all of the links for the specific fonts in this project are through Creative Fabrica, linked in the description for easy access for you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if it was helpful for you, go ahead and boop that like button, subscribe to the channel to get updates on when new videos are published, and share for others so they can get helped as well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.